What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. I am titling this Overuse Me. Let me give you the idea here. So basically, Jose, Shiny Weavile, came to us a couple of days ago on the Guys Got Game chat. If you haven't checked out that channel yet, definitely do that. It might be set to private right now, but I'll try to leave a link in the description down below. If it's not there, I'm sorry. Uh, the guys can remind me, but basically Jose came to us and he asked us, uh, guys, give me something to build around for an OU Live, and I suggested Kingler, and it took him about three days to actually con like create a team around Kingler, and I had this idea that if something is, well, l let me give you a little backstory. Showdown, the way that the tiering system works on Smogon and Pokemon Showdown is that if a Pokemon is used past 4% on the ladder, meaning that if you have a chance, I believe in 1 in 20 games, of running into that Pokemon once a day consistently for 3 months, then that Pokemon is considered overused. It's an OU Pokemon. So I had this, this imaginary wild idea that if we could get enough people to hop on board and use Kingler on the ladder consistently, day in, day out, regardless of winning or losing, then we could make Kingler an OU Pokemon. And not only Kingler, but pretty much any Pokemon that we choose. So this is going to be the idea around this series, is to get a Pokemon enough playtime for about a two month span. So this is going to be, I'm releasing this on a Saturday initially, but this is going to be a Friday series where every week we'll release a new team built around a certain Pokemon that is not considered uh, an OU threat or even an OU Pokemon for that matter. And we will try to make its popularity grow on the ladder. And for this two month period, we're going to be using Kingler. I might be swapping out how much time we, we spend on each Pokemon, but that's about the amount of time you need for Smogon to notice. So what I want you guys to do is to make a team centered around Kingler, make sure Kingler's on your team, of course, and use that team on the ladder. Even if you have to use an alternate account because you don't want to lose your points, use Kingler as much as humanly possible. We need to make this thing OU by the time they come out with their next, uh, their next tier shifts for Showdown. So if we can do this, if we can make uh, Kingler OU or even UU, it shouldn't go to UU because it's being used in OU, but if we can make Kingler OU by the next tier shifts, that would be incredible. I don't have a huge channel, but if you guys are interested in getting Kingler up to that OU status and you want to participate, let me know. Post replays in the comments section of each one of these videos. Like I said, they'll be coming out every single Friday. I want to see your replays of like sick wins, Kingler sweeps, whatever you can, you can muster up. I want to see replays in my comments. And if we can get enough people on board, that would be crazy. Like, if you guys can share this, you guys can tell people about this, let everybody know. This is probably the best idea I've ever had for this channel, and it's something completely original, and I love it. So, the first team we're using here today is a Life Orb Agility Kingler. So, we'll just get into it real quick. So, it's adamant. This thing has base 130 attack and base 115 defense. I took, like, 40% from a Scarf Lando's Stone Edge. And that's nothing. You'd expect a Pokemon that's in PU to take that a lot worse, but it doesn't. This base 70, uh, 75 speed means that with 249, after the agility, you're outspeeding a lot of Scarfers and even the fastest Megas in the tier. So this is really cool. Superpower and knockoff give it great coverage, and of course Crab Hammer, a little bit inaccurate because of the 90%, but a base 100 water move? It doesn't get boosted by Sheer Force, unfortunately, and this thing doesn't get Waterfall, so we had to run Hyper Cutter. Uh, but that's great, because that means that you can't get affected by Intimidate cores like Mega Manectric plus Landorus T. So this is pretty cool. Knock Off allows you to hit the Lotties, and Super Power al allows you to hit things like Ferrothorn and Heatran. Obviously, Crab Hammer's hitting Heatran a little bit harder, but Super Power is just great for Steel types, Rock types, anything that, for some reason, Crab Hammer can't hit. Super Power is perfect coverage. You can run anything else that you want on this thing, guys, if you're going to be using it on the ladder. It could be Rock Slide if you want to hit, like, Talon Flame, uh, X-Scissor. Like, it, get it gets pretty good uh, physical move pool. It's not bad at all. 
it could definitely you can you can change it up a little bit you can even run a natural gift set like natural gift fire that would be crazy but that's our kingler set paired it up with the standard charizard y plus banded t-tar core uh, nice and rocky helmet lando as our rock setter clef key to get up spikes because spike stacking is great with kingler in uh in conjunction and of course latias as our defogger i really like having a rapid spinner on this team so I might switch this up for Excadrill because you get up your spikes a lot quicker than you're able to defog if your opponent gets up rocks. And rocks are detrimental to Charizard. So I think, unfortunately, Jose, I think I'm going to have to do that right away. I'm going to get, uh, actually, uh, what else could we use as a spinner? Could we use Starmie? No, I think I think Excadrill is definitely better here uh, because of the, stand, the Sand Rush, of course. So we'll be able to run a, um, what do we want to run on this? Hmm. I don't know let's let's start by running max attack adamant and uh, we're, we're doing some changes real quick here on the fly guys 275 of course standard uh, we'll give it its standard move set of earthquake uh, rock slide it's another ground type on the team it's another water weakness unfortunately kind of need a water resist on this team like a keldeo check but hmm. yeah no you know what starmie is probably better let's go with starmie i know i'm running sand but i think starmie is just overall better uh let's just bring up its a standard set here if you guys didn't know you can do that to go and get a standard set I'm just gonna grab the uh, standard defensive set. This is its utility. Yeah, that's what I want. That's exactly what I want Thank you very much. This is a Keldia switching as well as a Volcanion switching sometimes of course I uh, recover Psy Shock Rabbit Spin Skull. Perfect. Excellent. All right, so we'll go in with that and uh, Let's see how this team does We'll have a couple of games. We'll see how, how well it does. Uh, Kingler is kind of snuffed by Suicune on my opponent's team uh, but it does, it does pretty well against the rest, actually. It's not too bad. Uh, we don't have any Ice-type coverage, which I would really like right about now because of that Zygarde over there. That thing's looking kind of threatening. Uh, I'm just going to lead off with Landorus here. This guy's still st uh, stuck on Ladder Tour 6, Week 6. But uh, we lead off uh, Landorus against his Deancey. Not too bad for us. We'll just go for a Quake on Turn 1. And uh, I think I'm just going to Quake again, honestly. Or Stone Edge. No, I'm going to Quake. If he wants the Moonblast, that's fine. He's just going to go into Zapdos. That's absolutely fine by me. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to go into uh, probably T-Tar here. Yeah, I'm going to go into T-Tar and uh, trap this thing with a Pursuit. I think that's the best course of action. He goes for a Discharge. Uh, that thing is not going to paralyze us, luckily. And I might just Stone Edge here as well, but I think Pursuit is my overall best play. Uh, just to get some damage off on the Zapdos, potentially put it in range of Stone Edge when it comes back in. So you can see it takes 50% right there. Suicune is going to come in. Um, this thing is a little bit of a threat. Like I said, water, not too good, not 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 terribly good uh, against us. <laughs> like it's re like it's really good against us, obviously. Uh, I'm just gonna go hard into Charizard actually, uh, as he just scalds straight off the bat. So that's gonna do a lot of damage to us. Uh, I am just gonna go for a Roost right here, as my opponent's gonna go out into Talonflame. That's awesome. We're gonna be able to get up a lot of health back, which is great. And uh, now I'm actually just gonna go into. Landorus right here um, because he can't uh, well he can will-o-wisp us if he wants to which he does that's a good play and I really just want to go for an earthquake right here predicting the Deancey uh, I think that's what he would go into not sure though um, he might think we're scarfed we don't have any scarfers on the team so he may think that we're scarfed I'm just gonna go for an earthquake actually uh, as he goes into Zapdos that's fine I'm gonna get my rocks now because I'm tired of this uh, he may double into the Ancy. That would be an excellent play on my opponent's part, but we'll just go for it. I'm playing for the Kingler Sweep, guys. If you haven't noticed, I'm playing for the Kingler Sweep. I'm trying to get everything that can wallet weakened. Uh, he does just go for the Roost. That's absolutely fine. We'll get up these rocks right here. Uh, he can go for a Discharge if he wants. I'm not sure if he's carrying Hidden Power Ice. He should be, in theory. Uh, he's, he should also be Defog, but we don't have anything to take advantage of the Defog like a Defiant Pokemon. Perhaps... Um, Perhaps Bisharp might be better than Titar on this team. Uh, let's see what he does here. He's just going to go for the Defog. That's absolutely fine. Last time we pursued it, so this time I'm going to go for Stone Edge. His safest play is just to go into... Uh, okay, well, not this, but all right. Uh, this is going to take over 50%, uh, 25%, excuse me. Uh, he can go for a bulk up, though, which is kind of scary. I think I'm going to go straight into Starmie, actually, on this thing, because I know what this thing can do. He goes straight for the sub. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I don't think Scald breaks this thing's sub. Uh, it shouldn't. Nope. It does not. He goes for Dragon Tail. Gets us out of there. We are into Clef Key. I didn't even see what came in. Uh, I'm just going to go for a layer of spikes right here. And actually, we wall this thing completely. 
Uh, he's going to go for a sub. I don't know if he thought that we would break his sub. I'm sorry about Starmie being stuck on screen here, guys. I'll try not to skip turns anymore. Uh, and I'm just going to go for a Magnet Rise, honestly, because he can't hit us at all. He goes for an Earthquake. Yeah, he cannot touch us. And I'm just going to fire off a Flash Cannon now. He's forced to switch out. He goes into Zapdos. That's fine. He should have Heat Wave for us. Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? This thing is a nuisance. I'm going straight into, uh, into Charizard, and I'm blowing something back. I can't wait till we go back into Starmie, honestly. Uh, I'm just going to Fire Blast here. He should bring in his Talonflame, as he does. Uh, and that's going to take a pretty big hit. 42%, not too much, but enough. Um, I can see him Will-O-Wisping here again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Fire Blast. Uh, he does not go for Roost, so that's good. He does go for Will-O-Wisp. Sick. Uh, we're going to go on into Titar now. And now we have to make a prediction, because if this Talonflame is to switch out, it will die to Pursuit, because it is a specially defensive variant. If it stays in... Uh, it dies to Stone Edge. So I'm going to play it safe and make my best all-around play and go for Crunch. As he actually misses Wisp, so that's pretty big for us. We're able to get rid of the Talonflame, which was pretty much his only answer to our Charizard. Uh, the only thing that could switch into a Fire Blast comfortably. And as long as I have Klefki alive, the Zygarde isn't doing too much to us, so that's nice. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Crunch here, actually. As my opponent makes a nice switch out into the Ancy, but he just lets it take damage for no reason. So that's not too bad for us. Um, I don't want to switch Klefki into an Earth Power. I think my better play would be to go into Landorus here. Uh, I don't really need rocks up this game. So, he's going to go for a Diamond Storm and actually misses. That's very unfortunate for him. Um, not sure what I want to do here. I don't want to bring in Kingler straight away. Kingler has very bad special defense, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for a Quake. Uh, he Moon Blasts and doesn't knock us out, actually. Uh, Quake might knock him out. Yeah, it does. Awesome, we get rid of the Ancy. That's huge. Uh, what can we do here now? I really want to go into Kingler and just set up, but I think that's that's a bad play. Actually, realistically, Kingler's not doing too much, so I could go into it. And if his Zapdos is fully defensive, then... Okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, because that means that we can get off a Crab Hammer here. This is a very powerful Crab Hammer. He goes into Ferrothorn. That's awesome. Going to get off a lot of damage on that thing. Uh, and we're going to be able to go for Super Power on this following turn. And knock him out with a crit. Kingler, putting in work, actually getting a kill. Guys, new Crawdont right here. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, he's going to go back into Zapdos. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to go into... I really want to go into, uh, into uh, Titar right here. I feel like he'll just uh, fire off a Discharge. That's the only problem. You know, Crab Hammer's still going to do a lot. And we should technically outspeed this thing because it should be defensive in theory. So I'm just going to go for it gonna do 33% it's not too bad it's not uh, it's not great but it's not bad either and uh, Charizard comes in here now and does a lot of damage I still hate that Starmie's right here in the front but it's fine uh, we're gonna get off a lot of damage with this fire blast and basically he has to pivot around his Pokemon to uh, to ensure that I don't get a kill here uh, he's gonna go into Zygarde that's fine this is still gonna do a lot that is a nice 30% we'll be able to break his sub every time so I'm just gonna go for a solar beam here uh, it's going to do a nice 33% right there. Don't have to risk missing the Fire Blast. His Zygarde is sitting at 19%. Uh, he doesn't have a good Crunch switch in. He can Earthquake me, but it won't take me out because he's specially defensive. Because uh, this is the sub coil set. Uh, he's going to go for Earthquake. He's going to allow his Zygarde to drop right there. And um, yeah, Charizard's looking even more threatening now. He's going to bring in Suicune. I'm just going to go for a Crunch here. And uh, weaken this thing as he's going to go for a Calm Mind. I'm going to go for another Crunch. He, he will probably just go for... Actually, he might rest here. I'm um, thinking that he's going to rest. So what I'm going to do is go hard into Charizard. He shouldn't Scald on this turn. Uh, oh, he does. Wow, all right. Uh, that was a good play, I guess. Uh, but, like, Solar Beam's still going to do a, a massive amount to this thing. So I'm just going to throw it out. And, uh, yeah, it's going to do 53. Uh, he can't even rest off all the damage. All right. Now, do we have anything to knock this thing out? Well, Titar was faster, right? Yeah, Jose made this thing faster. That's awesome. Uh, and I'm just going to go for a crunch right here. Uh, yeah, and there we go. Bye-bye, Suicune. Unfortunately, we're probably not faster than the Zapdos, but I don't think it takes us out with anything. How much did Discharge do earlier? Like, on the very first turn. Uh, let's see, or one of the first turns. It did 21%. Ooh, it's a roll. All right. Uh, let's go for the crunch. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, he does go for the Discharge, and he does knock us out, unfortunately. So that's probably going to be game for my opponent. We'll see, though. We have a defensive Starmie. I don't think his Discharge can straight knock us out. We'll go for the Scald right here. If we get the Burn, we're good. Uh, he actually goes for a Roost, uh, surprisingly. Um, he's giving me more chances to burn him, so that's nice. 
is going to go for the discharge and it actually is going to knock us out. So if he has the heat wave, then he'll be able to uh, wear down our cleft key enough to knock it out right here. Uh, and he does have the heat wave, so he just has to hit a couple more. Flash Cannon is going to be doing absolutely nothing. So uh, and he's actually going to go for discharge for some reason. That's all right, though. And uh, I guess it's a more accurate move. Unfortunately, we weren't able to pick up the win on that one. We actually get paralyzed on the last turn. A little bit of justice for my opponent, but it's fine. I mean, uh, that was a little bit of a bad play on my part to switch out because uh, Charizard just won that game. But I was I was pretty convinced that he would go for the rest there. Anyway, uh, we have a very similar team uh, against us. I mean, a very similar to ours, of course. Uh, he does have the Water type. He has the Ground type. He has the Charizard Y plus uh, Tyranitar Core. Uh, he has a Zapdos, which is a great hazard remover. And uh, an overall wall, Klefki and Amoongus right there. So a lot of similarities. Um, again... Kingler has a lot of trouble against the Suicune, so I can't can't believe we're going up against two Suicunes in a row. That's that's pretty insane. But I'm just going to lead off with uh, probably Lando here. Lando's here. Lando's fine. Yeah, he's gonna lead off with Charizard. This is Charizard Y, of course. Uh, so we can switch into uh, Tyranitar pretty comfortably, I think. Uh, he's not gonna focus Blast on turn one. He's actually gonna go out into Amoongus, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we will get off a huge hit on this. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Stone Edge. Actually, it won't knock it out. Uh, necessarily, but uh, he's ha he has to spore and he has to switch out on this turn um, Because he can't risk giga draining into like a clef key and then getting knocked out So he's probably gonna go into I would expect Excadrill to come in here so what I'm gonna do is uh, I think I'm gonna go into clef key. Clef key is okay Let's see. He does switch out. He does go into Charizard actually. All right um, So this thing is gonna set up the Sun. I Kind of want to T-wave this like immediately at the same time spikes are extremely good against him because of Suicune, Tyranitar, Excadrill, and Amoongus of course so I might want to keep this um let's see yeah you know what let's go into um let's go into Kingler as he actually swaps out into Zapdos interesting uh so our Krav Hammer did 33% before so that was at minus one so it'll do about 50% of this thing now, the question is, do I want Kingler to drop here? And I kind of do. And we miss the Crab Hammer. And that is the problem with Crab Hammer right there, is that it misses. <laughs> and it misses a lot. So, uh, this is fine. Charizard comes in. I'm just going to go straight into Titar. Of course, he can Focus Blast us, but that can miss. Let's go for the uh, Stone Edge. He'll probably Mega Evolve. Yeah, there we go. There's the Charizard Y. Does he hit the Focus Blast? He actually goes for Solar Beam, so he might not. He might not even have Focus Blast, and that did way too much. Um, <laughs> but I don't need this thing, realistically. Yeah, I don't need this. He can go for another Solar Beam. That's absolutely fine. Um, we're gonna go into our own Charizard here, and uh, this is a Speed Tie, so I'm going to just risk the Speed Tie and go for a Fire Blast here. Let's see what he's got. He's got Ancient Power. Wow. All right. Got some interesting sets on the ladder here. Um, I'm going to go into Landorus, and I'm just going to fire off a Stone Edge here. Uh, he does connect the Fire Blast that's going to knock us out. This is crazy. This is going... This is not going the way I wanted it to, guys. But like I said, win or lose, as long as Kingler gets playtime in the tier, that's all that matters. That's what's important. And we're just going to sack Klefki here. We're going to go for a Thunder Wave. Let's see if we can uh, stall everything out with Thunder Waves. Nope. He hits the Fire Blast immediately. All right. So that's a nice and 6-0 for my opponent. Let's jump into the next game. Like I said, it's 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 really just for fun. It's uh, And it's going to be even more fun when I have people on board. Like, Jose wants to join for the next live, so he's going to be here. Probably commentating from Subway. Direct from Subway. So, uh, all right. So this team is definitely a team that Kingler does a little bit better against. With an agility up, it can put in a lot of work. Uh, between Knockoff and Crab Hammer, it can pretty eff effectively take out like four Pokemon. So as long as I get up the right amount of hazards against this team, which I can pretty much do most of the time. I'm going to lead off with Lando, even though Manaphy is kind of obvious, as he does lead with Manaphy. But I don't think he's going to attack on the first turn. I'm going to go for... well, he might. Let's see. Um, let's go, let's just go into Starmie, let's play it safe, and, uh, he scalds, alright, that's fine, he gets a crit, not a big deal, I'm going to, this is a problem, I'm gonna go into Klefki, and see if this thing tail glows on me, nope, he switches out immediately, alright, that's not bad, we get the T-Tar, and we are gonna start setting up some spikes, let's go for it, because almost all of his team is hit by it, except these two up here, Lando and, uh, and, uh, Tornadus, uh, Manaphy does come back in, I'm just gonna go for spikes again, 
If he tail glows, that's fine. He just goes for Scald. That's cool. Uh, we're going to get up a third layer here. Actually, I want to T-wave this thing early. Let's, uh, let's get that done. And there we go. And he gets fully parried on that turn. That's awesome. We're going to go for another layer of spikes. And now he's slower than pretty much everything on my team. So that's nice. He is going to tail glow up. Absolutely fine. Once again, what do I need the least on this team? That is the question. What do I need the least? Well, the objective is to weaken Manaphy and Scizor, right? So let's weaken Manaphy and Scizor. Let's just go for a flash cannon right there. He gets fully parried. He is a leftovers variant. Absolutely fine. I'm just going to go for another flash cannon right here. It's going to do a uh, very little amount. And he get, keeps getting fully parried. Uh, we're just going to keep going for flash cannon because I have no use for Klefki anymore. My spikes are up. That's what's important. He gets the spit up drop right there. Gets fully parried again. <laughs> it's like three turns in a row. And now we can just go into uh, into Charizard and Solar Beam this thing. With its minus one spit F, it's going to it's gonna instantly die. He just goes for a Rain Dance. Absolutely fine. He gets he cures off his uh, his Paralysis. But at this point, like it doesn't even matter. Charizard just comes in, outspeeds this thing, and Solar Beams it. So uh, Scald is going to knock us out right there. We're going to go into Charizard. And the next thing, time this thing comes in, it comes in at 55. So I'm not too worried. Even if he switches out into uh, Tornadus, it's not a big deal. Uh, we do get the Sun back up. Let's see if he's max speed. He doesn't seem to be, and this is going to clean knockout Manaphy. All right, so my opponent forfeits, actually, after that Solar Beam. Not sure why. He must have seen the Kingler sweep coming, guys. That's That has to be it. Let's keep going. Oh, man, if this actually works, guys, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> you have no idea if we can actually make it so that Kingler becomes OU. Like, look at this team. Knockoff. Crab Hammer. Crab Hammer. Knockoff. Crab Hammer. Like, oh, my God. If this thing got an Ice-type move, it would be ridiculous. It could actually hit Zap- like, I would run it over Superpower. It could hit Zapdos and Garchomp. It would actually run through his entire team other than Azumarill. That would be insane. Kingler, get a nice move in 7th gen, please. We need you. Uh, alright, so my opponent's more than likely lead is gonna be either Zapdos or Garchomp. Or even Latios, I can see Latios leading, uh, to counter lead my- my Lando. But, um... I really like, uh, I just really like leading Landorus against this guy, actually. As he does lead with Garchomp, that's awesome. We're gonna get the Intimidate off on him. I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks as he goes for his own. That's fine. We have Rapid Spinner, and, uh, I'm gonna go for an Earthquake right here. As he goes for a Draco Meteor, so very nice play. Uh, I'm just gonna, okay, he's Life Orb. Awesome. Alright, so we're gonna get a, a big hit off on him right there. I'm actually gonna keep Landorus, and I'm gonna switch out into Starmie here, because Starmie can take any hit. Uh, he does have lowered Special Attack and Attack. Uh, we should be able to take his Earthquake as well. I'm just going to play it safe and recover right here, as uh, he should just Earthquake. Yep, there we go. And he gets a crit. Awesome. All right, so he crits us through. Oh, man. All right. Uh, we got to play around that a little bit now. Uh, he is max speed, of course. So what can we do? Um, Tito should be able to live any hit. He's at minus one. Plus, he comes in very low. All right, I'm going into Titar. And... Uh, Nothing really wants to switch into a crunch right now, so I'm just going to go for it right here. He's going to go for EQ. He's not going to crit us that time, thank goodness, and we are going to knock out the Garchomp, but that thing put in way too much work. Uh, Starmie should have easily lived that. Maybe that was my fault not spinning, because after a spin, like, I would have been good to go. Uh, my opponent does go out into Azumarill. I'm just going to crunch again, because I can't risk this thing belly drumming up. Uh, as he's not Citrus, that's good. Good to know. Uh, one, I'm wondering what he is, but he does let us weaken his Azumarill, guys. So, I don't know if you see the implications of this, but um, we can straight sweep him. I just need his Omega Alakazam to, well, to Mega Evolve, right, like, initially, but... Alright, uh, we're gonna go into Klefki, and we are going to get up some spikes here. Um, if he attacks us with Waterfall, it's fine. He is banded. That's definitely banded damage. Uh, we should be faster than this thing in, t in theory, so I'm just going to go for the Flash Cannon here. I'll do a good amount of damage, and it'll put him in range of dying to another turn of sand. Unfortunately, there isn't one. So, how do I want to go about this? Um, well, Lando outspeeds this. He can't come in on hazards anymore. And I'm just going to go for a... Do I want to go for a U-turn? No, I kind of want to keep this in. I'm just going to knock out his Azumarill. Let's see if uh, Kingler can pull off the sweep, guys. That would be insane if it could. Um, I can heal up Charizard on the Heatran, I think. Alright, his Latios comes in. Is this thing going to Psy Shock me? That is the question. Alright, how do I have to play this? Let's see. I need a crit. I think I need a crit. That's my only way to win. 
He should be Mega Zam, right? So he should just drop to knock off. Okay. All right, so I don't I don't have enough sacks. That's the problem. He crit my Starmie. All right, I'm going for U-turn. He's just going to go for Surf. He is Life Orb. All right, guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Kingler, and I'm going to swap out into Charizard on the Draco Meteor. All right? He's not going to Psy Shock. He's going to Draco Meteor. All right, that's perfect. He goes down to minus two. We should be able to take his Draco now. I don't know if we'll have enough turns of Life Orb, but we can try. Let's go for Agility. He does land the Draco, and he actually just straight knocks us out. <laughs> Kingler's crappy special defense come into the rescue. <laughs> All right, let's let's get one more. Uh, hopefully our Starmie doesn't get crit this time because getting off that spin would have been so crucial, guys. I mean, yes, he would have done over half to us, but he would have taken an extra life orb hit, and then I would have just spun and knocked him out with whatever else. So it kind of sucks not having any speed control on this team. That's the one thing. But uh, my opponent has a Mega Sableye, which is kind of annoying for this team to deal with outside of Charizard. I'm just going to lead with Klefki. Uh, as he does lead with Charizard, actually. All right. Uh, I'm going to Thunder Wave this thing immediately because this thing is annoying. Uh, he is a Y variant. And uh, let's see if we can get the full para on turn one. We do! Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going into Titar right now and uh, getting rid of this thing's sun. He does go straight for the Focus Blast, so very good play on my opponent's part. Uh, we'll go into uh, Landorus and threaten this thing out. And we'll go for Rocks, I think. Uh, we're threatening this thing out with a stone edge, so I don't see him staying in. Uh, but he doesn't have a really good reason to switch out either, uh, in retrospect. He does go into Sableye. We are able to get up our rocks right there. And uh, I kind of want to go into something that's not affected by Will-O-Wisp, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, he might not even... He's not Mega, though. I have to keep that in mind. He is not a Mega variant. Uh, he's just going to go straight into P2. All right. He's going to trace our Blaze. Not a big deal. Um... Let's go into Klefki and get up Hazards. <laughs> like, what else is there to do at this point? All right, he's going to Thunder Wave us. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to go for Spikes. He has a Rapid Spinner, and unfortunately, we don't have a Spin Blocker. Uh, but I'm just going to go for Magnet Rise to make sure this thing can't hit me with super effective damage. And uh, then we'll figure it out from there. But we are going to Magnet Rise. I probably should have switched into uh, Landorus on that turn, but I'm going to go for a Spike. And then I'm going to switch into Landorus, because he should just hit us with an Iron Head. Uh, actually, he goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay. All right, all right. I see you. Um, now he's probably gonna Iron Head, right? Alright, let's go into Landorus now. Uh, he's a Stealth Rocker. Alright. Um, yeah, there's the Rapid Spin, actually. Awesome. So he takes a little bit of damage. He shouldn't stay in here, in theory. Um, because I could just knock him out. I'm just gonna go for Rocks and get him back up. And I can U-turn on his entire team, so. He's gonna bring in, uh, Porygon. He's gonna Intimidate us. That's fine. We're gonna go for a U-turn. And uh, now, pretty much, it's going to be a game of... Uh, it's going to be a spin fest. I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be purely a spin fest. Uh, I'm going to go into Starmie here. As he goes for the Ice Beam, he is not able to uh, do too much damage to us. I'm going to go for a Rapid Spin to get rid of these rocks. He might have Discharge. Uh, I know he definitely has Thunder Wave. He's already shown it. Uh, but we are Natural Cure, so that's absolutely fine. We're going to switch out into Clef Key here. And every time he brings in his uh, Excadrill, I'm just going to bring in my... Uh, my Landorus, so it's absolutely fine. We're gonna go for a uh, another layer of spikes as he does bring in his Excadrill. Like I said before, we're just gonna keep going into Landorus every time and uh, repeating the process. This is probably the most boring game of the entire lives, so if you guys have not clicked off yet, make sure to do that and leave a like before you leave. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to just go for Earthquake here, honestly. His Porygon's at 66, right? Yeah, no, let's just keep going for rocks. Okay, he does stay in. He goes for Toxic. Okay. We're going to U-turn out. Um, we're faster than him. That's good to know. All right, he's going to go into P2. We are going to U-turn out of here. And now we're going to go into Kingler. Because Kingler gets to knock this thing's item off. And that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, as he actually chooses to switch out into Sableye, that's absolutely fine. We're going to get rid of Sableye's item in the process. Uh, get rid of its Rocky Helmet. Interesting. Gonna go into Charizard now, as Charizard outspeeds everything. His Porygon comes in very, very low, actually. I don't think it can take a Fire Blast from the range it's at. I'm not sure I would need to calc that, but I don't really want to do any calcs with this team. Uh, it's a lot more of a fun team, as you guys know. What's he gonna do? Uh, he's not even gonna use a priority move. He's just gonna let his Sableye drop, which is nice. We already know that his Excadrill is a uh, uh, more defensive variant, because Arlandorus outsped it. 
So what I'm going to do here is just switch into Landorus. Now that I have all the momentum and now that Charizard kills everything, we should be good to go. He actually goes for a Thunder Punch. That's awesome. I'm just going to uh, actually U-turn out here. Uh, I'm going to predict him to have Ice Punch and uh, we're going to get out of here and go straight into Starmie. Let's see if he has it. He goes for the Ice Punch. Yep, he does. Let's see if he has the knockoff now. I don't really need a spinner anymore, so I'm just going to go for a Psy Shock at this point. Uh, as he chooses to bring in Rachi, so good play. Uh, did this thing show leftovers? No, it didn't, so I think it's a Scarf variant. Let's go for Recover. He is going to U-turn. Awesome. Uh, he might predict me to just Scald here. Uh, P2 can heal up, but Excadrill cannot. Um, I don't know what you're doing in here against me, but I'm just going to Scald you. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Excadrill takes virtually nothing from that Scald, realistically. And uh, I have to go, what, back in Lano? Or do we just throw out another Scald and hope for a burn on the P2? Actually, you know what? Let's go into Kingler. Let's uh, let's predict the P2. He actually goes into Rachi. That's fine. I'm going to switch out into Landorus because we already know that this thing is Scarfed. Just from the way he U-turned. He's going to go for a Healing Wish, actually. Into what? Charizard? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. I still have my Klefki alive, though, so it's not a huge deal. He's probably just going to throw out a Fire Blast here. I'm going to go into Starmie to eat it up. Uh, he is going to go for the Fire Blast right there. We're going to take a lot of damage. It's fine. We're going to go into Klefki now. And uh, he actually just Fire Blasts again. All right, cool. Um, now what? Let's go back into Charizard here. He doesn't have a Fire Blast switching on his team either. So uh, he actually wins that speed tie. He's going to do 47% to us. We're going to do 52 to him. Are you like what? Why did I do so much more? I did 5% more. That's insane. Um, I'm gonna go for the speed tie here, guys, and he wins it again. All right, so not too great for us. Uh, I'm gonna go into Starmie at this point. I'm gonna bait him to Solar Beam. Yeah, the only way I win this now is with Kingler. Let's go for uh, the swap out into... How much is Conkeldur at? What's it sitting at? 83? I don't think that's enough. What do I need alive? Starmie, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go into Landorus to take this solar beam uh, as he actually switches out okay so what does he not have solar beam either um, let's just go for an earthquake honestly I'm tired of this thing get it out of here thank you I'm tired of you spinning away my rocks and uh, his Charizard is gonna come right back in I have to play off of a miss at this point guys I, I don't have another play I just gotta just go for the stone edge he hits every single fire blast and he wins both speed ties so that's a little bit annoying I'm gonna go into Starmie he probably doesn't have um, solar beam and that's probably why he switched out on us i'm just gonna go for a scald is he's gonna go for okay well he does have it i guess um and he's gonna be able to hit the next one and knock out kingler so that's gonna be a, a one in four uh for this team wait a minute what why did he switch out what is he doing what if i crit like what hold on a second what is he doing i'm just gonna crab hammer again if i wasn't in the sun right now what if i went for an agility there like all right, I didn't understand that. But anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. We're going to try to make Kingler a thing. Uh, if you guys have a suggestions for... Well, actually, we'll save that for later. But uh, if you guys have team suggestions, if you guys have replays that you want to show me, make sure to put them in the comments down below. I want to see them all. I want to read them. I want to watch them. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. If, uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, of course, make sure to do that. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.